for some of you, you might have might be coming out of this uh, time of being very depressed or just uh, overthinking things or getting over a breakup. It might have been with someone you were dealing with or uh, could have been a friend, could have been an ex or whatever the case may be. Um, for some, some of you, you could have been dealing with a situation where you invested your time with a manipulator, manipulator, um, a person that uh, manipulates and they, they're a con artist, they're a trickster, they do things for their own benefit, whether that be um, take money from you or this person may even be very, um, very judgmental on... Uh, in the way that you conduct yourself, whether that be like, this would be the type of person that's judgmental about sex before marriage or the type of man that might be, doesn't have to be the man, doesn't have to be a man, it could be a female or the type of person that thinks that, you know, um, you should do things very old fashioned in an old fashioned way. Like, oh no, a woman's supposed to be here, da 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 da, be here with the kids, or a woman is not supposed to do this if she's married, a woman's not supposed to do that if she's married, blah, blah, blah. For some of you, you could have, like I said, you could have been working with that person or you have some people that want to partner up with you and there could be some sort of success coming. You know, like it's going to be good for you. You're going to have good fortune. For some of you, I don't know if any of you may be pregnant or be, be mindful because you could get pregnant. For some of you, I'm not sure if you may be reconciling. You may be reconciling with a friend or a lover or someone that you used to be very close with at one point in time, but there was some sort of falling out or some sort of disagreement where um, you two just weren't having a meeting of the minds and maybe now you're reconciling. Or for some of you, you may be getting ready to meet your soulmate or someone new. <clears throat> but I take it as some of you, some of you, I take it as someone from the past, reconciling with someone from the past, because a lot of you could have been dealing with either you're thinking about that person or you guys may be reconciling or it's coming soon or you're thinking about reaching out to the person. Maybe at one point in time you were emotionally withdrawn from the person or the person or the person emotionally withdrew from you. But I see a lot of you having like a lot of memories, a lot of nostalgia from the past. You may hear songs that you guys used to listen to or whatever the case may be. And that really make may make you think about this person. And for some of you, you could be working with a person that could be a manipulator or a con artist that is either trying to take credit for your work or um, trying to step on top of you at work. Like they're more worried about how they look and their appearance and things like that than actually doing the work or doing the research. You know, they're stealing your stuff. Um, and I do not sell any readings online or anything like that. So be mindful if anybody sends you a message trying to be me, it is not me because I do not go out. It's just not in my personality to beg for money. I could be fucked up and I'm still not begging for money. So be mindful of that. Um, and like I said, for some of you, you might just be coming from an, uh, uh, coming to the end of a judgmental cycle or you're going to be fairly judged. You're going to be fairly judged and something might actually come out in your favor. For some of you, it might have been a time where you were feeling lazy or maybe you were even entitled or you were dealing with an individual that was lazy and entitled and uh, you were being a people pleaser. But now you're no longer doing that. Let me see what else I can get out of this. For some of you, you might have been coming out of a situation of being coming out of a time of being emotionally withdrawn and now you're not. For some of you, you may be a uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you may be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So that could be the person you're thinking about while you're doing this reading. Right, give me one more for my collective. Some of you, your birthday could be on the 6th, the 12th, the 8th. 20th, or those numbers could be for significant for a reason. Or some of you, you could be dealing with someone, or you could have been dealing with a friend who only wants to look good online, or they're worried about appearances, or you know, oh, I want to look like I'm doing this, I want to look like I'm doing that. 
type of thing. For some of you, there may be a situation that's going to happen soon or it just happened not too long ago. Give me one second. For some of you, this could have something to do with your child. Maybe there's some sort of court with kids or there could be maybe some sort of child support or maybe you're dealing with someone who is uh, um, an officer or a higher up. He doesn't have to be an officer or a lawyer or something like that. He can also just be a person that people respect or look up to. Or you could be that type of person. Or like I said, some of you are just having a lot of memories about people that you grew up from childhood or memories of love from when you were a child. A lot of nostalgia, things like that. For some of you, like I said, you either might have just gotten a degree or some sort of certification. Or for some of you, the it, it could have something to do with, with your job, like I said before, where you have someone in the workplace more concerned about how they look versus uh, putting in the work or someone taking credit for your work. So be mindful for that. Mindful of that. And anybody taking credit on my work, you will pay. You will pay. Point blank, period. Um... I'll take one more of these. And just be mindful of con artists and tricksters and things like that. Be very mindful of that. Use your intuition. Use your common sense. Collective. Or anybody who tries to come up in your energy and do too much. Don't pay them no mind. But like I said, there, could, there definitely could be some sort of stuff at the courts. Either it's it could have something to do with, like I said, a child or... Um, uh, or judgment coming out in your favor. Or judgment coming out in your favor if you're really stressed about something in regards to court. I don't know if some of you could be very short. Or maybe you're dating someone that's very short. Or maybe you're the person you're going to reconcile with or meet with. They could be short in stature. It doesn't have to be. Remember to take the messages as they resonate. Do not try to make them fit. Some of you could be expecting something. Like I said, you're either... Um, you're expecting to reunite with someone or you're respecting, you're expecting to go into business with someone. Like if somebody is trying to go into business with you and some of you could just be expecting a baby. Some of you could be pregnant right now or you're expecting or you have high expectations. Let me see what else I can get. But you definitely look like you're reconciling or you have love coming your way. I don't know if it's love from a friendship. Now, if it's a person that you used to be friends with or it is an old love or an old flame, you and this person um, will possibly clo be closer than you were the first time if you reconcile. And if some of you are thinking about going into business with someone and you've done all your research and things like that, then it's a possibility that um, it's a possibility that. You will be, uh, you'll have good fortune with it, but be very mindful. Make sure you read everything, read all the underlying energy, read, read everything. I don't know if some of you even had, like I said, a bad investment or working with someone where they cost you some sort of loss of money, or there's someone who's trying to manipulate you into investing in something like, Oh, come on. If you give me, so, if you give me this, uh, if you help me, I, I don't care if it's cryptocurrency. I, I don't care what the business the business is like. If they see you as the type of person that has a little money, they may say, oh, hey, um, you know, since you be doing this and um, doing that, you think you want to invest with me, blah, blah, blah. Maybe let's say you got the good credit and they got the money or whatever. Just make sure you read all the contracts and be mindful, you know, and really know what's going on before you get into a business with someone. I keep getting this. For some of you, you are you are walking away. Now, I don't know if it's from a person that you were friends with or a person that you were in relationship with, or you're just walking away from things that no longer serve you, whether that be your mother with a child and you're, um, you're walking away from that, uh, that toxic baby father, that lazy individual that's entitled and, um, that lazy individual that's entitled or whatever the case may be. Some of you may even be traveling over water or, uh, Someone coming in to visit you. 
I don't know if some of you are 28 years old, 34, 22. And please make sure you like my videos if you can. Um, like, share, subscribe because I really need to um, get my likes up and things like that. So eventually I can monetize if I want to. Um, so I would really appreciate it. You know, no expectations. But if you're watching the video, why not? All right, let me see what else I have for my collective. But if you're thinking about walking away from somebody collective, do what you got to do. It doesn't matter who you used to be friends with in the past. It doesn't matter how long you know a person. It doesn't matter how long y'all been together. You need to live for you. Do you. Do you. Don't worry about doing nobody else. Do you. And if you are, and if you are, and if you are walking away from the person or you have walked away from the person, it's best that don't worry about like if you're looking at things that they may have. Like, look at her. She always gets this. Look at him. He always gets that. Focus on yourself. Because you can't have the abundance you want if you're so busy focused on why your ops or the person that you don't deal with or why your ex or why this person has this and you have nothing. Well, not nothing. You just don't have what they have. But everybody's uh, gift or everybody's calling is different. So you don't have what they have because that's not what you were meant to have. So be mindful of that. And you can't have abundance or have what you really want or, or manifest in a correct manner if the inside of your, the, your heart is not pure. Where, okay, I'm not fucking with that person. I wish them well. I wish them the best. And for some of you, you can be dealing with... Um, you, people may feel like you're a bully. They may feel like you're a tyrant or you're, you're a bully and you could be a bully and tyrant. You have a bully and tyrant living with you and that's making it hard for everybody else in the house or whatever because they may be um, throwing their weight around a little bit or you could be dealing with a man who's a grown ass man that still may live home, at home with his mama or a grown ass man that could be living off of people or mama's boy type of energy. Some of you could be Aries. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sag. I'm going to do one more. Yeah, there's a lot about somebody from the past reconciling reconciling or 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 uh, dealing with somebody from the past or kids are going to be in your near future like i said some of you could be pregnant or some of you could be thinking about doing a business that may involve kids um some of you may be thinking about doing a business that involves kids or you work in something like that right now um, maybe your occupation is you work with kids, whether that be in a daycare or whatever the case may be. Or like I said, some of you could be pregnant or there's an old flame, an old flame or, or an old flame or an old friend from the past that's coming back. And you keep having so many memories about this person. I don't know if you have memories about this person or it's because you're looking the person up or watching what they're doing online. And by seeing them, it, it makes you think of old times, that type of thing. And for some of you, be very mindful of being a people pleaser. You know, don't spend your time worrying so much about, you know, what if this person, I don't want to hurt their feelings. I don't want to hurt that person's feelings. I don't want to hurt this person. Or, you know, this person needs me. That person needs me. Da, 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 da. You know, life is so short that it's very important to focus on yourself. Which took me a long time to realize it because I'm a very helpful person and I've been there for my friends plenty of times and a lot of them have either stabbed me in the back or it just seems like we're always in competition or they want to be in competition with me because I literally don't even think in a competitive mind state. I've always been helpful. I give people free ideas, but be mindful of people who get uh, jealous of you because you're not afraid to take a chance or take a leap or whether it works or it doesn't work. Just like I post this video up. If I post this video up and make it five views, 15 views, two views, but I still got to keep working. 
So whatever, I noticed this a lot with people, whether that be they, they started doing something on social media or they, they, I don't care, whatever business or whatever it is they start doing, once they feel like they're not getting the reaction that they want, they just quit. Like, you know what? It's not working. Let me see what else is going. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't try something new if something else isn't going, but you can't always have the energy of continuing to quit every time something doesn't work out. Yeah, for some of you, I'm not sure if you could be having dreams or seeing synchronicities or um, just have too many distractions, too many choices, and you're not following your intuition. For some of you, some I don't know if you have a lot of confusion around you where you're not sure what you want to do, or you might be the type of person that could be pretending to be confused. Like maybe you want to reconcile with a person, but you're like, ah, should I do it? Should I not do it? I don't know. Uh, or maybe you know you owe a person an apology. Doesn't have to be. I'm just you know saying like you know you're just trying to decide what it is that you want to do. Or like, not, I'm sorry, not just that what it is that you want to do, but also like um, trying to decide if you want to pretend to stay confused. Like, you know exactly what you need to do, but you have not done it. Number pull two love cards and then we are out with this message collective. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Remember to keep doing your thing. I don't know if some of you could be 18 or you have a child that's 18 months or um, this could be a situation where maybe you ain't talked to someone in 18 months or something about 18 days. Please take the messages and put them where they resonate. I don't know if some of you might have even had a job interview where you feel like... Um, Either you feel like you weren't qualified or um, either they feel like you weren't qualified, you didn't have everything you needed, or um, either they feel like you weren't qualified and you didn't have everything you needed, or maybe you took some sort of certification or did some sort of job training in order to get that occupation or be certified in something. For some of you, yeah, you might have been in separation with this person. And now you guys are thinking about reconciling. Like I said, whether that be a friend, an old flame, uh, your, your twin flame, your, your baby father, whoever this, this person may be, you guys might have been at uh, a crossroads or, you know, on an outing or haven't not talked in a while. And you guys are thinking about reconciling or you're really just missing each other and thinking about each other a lot. It doesn't look like it might just be you thinking about the person. The person might think about you as well, you know, or there's a possibility that some of you could be in a relationship with someone and time apart is on the horizon for you and that individual where you may take a break. person might have took a break there might have been some sort of separation now you and this person are reuniting and the time either this person either if it's a you're male or female or this is a love relationship this person was worth waiting for this person was worth it whether you've been single for a long time and people have seen you a single settled is settled you may be looking good you may be uh working out or whatever and now there's now um you got yourself together physically physically, mentally, spiritually, and now you and this person are going to reconcile and it's going to be better than before and it was worth waiting for. Or if it was a friendship, the time apart, the separation, <clears throat> the time apart, the separation will make this union stronger. For some of you, if you did reunite with a person, this person might have given you some sort of small gift or token of appreciation to show um, how much they uh, care about you or how much they want to get the situation back on track. Um, but it would be a very small gift, like a token of appreciation, whether that be like, oh, they got you your favorite food or they did something they know you like or something you always loved. Um, so that may be the case. 
And like I said, we are, you can be people pleasers. You have to worry about yourself. No more people pleasing, collective. No more people pleasing. I've been doing it. I, I've done it millions of times myself.